was looking for a compact, customizable keyboard that still retained all the special function keys that I need, that was small and compact in design, plus I could change all the keys and keycaps, plus I could plug it into many different devices so I didn't have to kind of unplug it from my work computer to then plug it into another computer, and all of this for less than 100 bucks. Well, I think I found the perfect keyboard, the Royal Kludge RK84, and it's an 80% keyboard, and at just under $80, seems pretty impressive. So I'm gonna do an unboxing, we'll check it out, we'll find out what it's all about. Let's get to it. So as I said, today we're looking at this, the RK84 keyboard. It's an 80% keyboard, so it's a bit like a 10 keyless keyboard, but the keys are sort of shoved together a bit closer, so you retain some of the 60% keyboard form factor. Now I use this mostly for typing and content creation with a little bit of gaming. So it's important I had the arrow keys and the sort of home and end keys and all the function keys for my content creation. But I also wanted to be able to use this keyboard on two separate devices. So I have a work laptop and then I have my main content creation computer. And to do that without having to unplug each time. And this has that functionality. So it seemed to meet all the requirements I needed, so I took the plunge. Now these are high in demand, and you can get them on Amazon, but in the end I bought this one from Banggood for about $50, yeah, $50, and it took around about a week to arrive. So let's see what you get in the box. Okay, so here we go, the Royal Kludge keyboard. As I say, I bought this from uh, Banggood. It took about a week uh, to arrive, RK84 there. Um, pretty standard packaging um, there. And then inside, obviously, we've got the keyboard here uh, in the cellophane, quite hefty, feels quite heavy, which is kind of good. And then no kind of instructions as far as can see, this just looks like um, QR code, uh, which I think you can download uh, the software from that you need and the manual. Although I did have uh, trouble finding the manual, to be honest. Um, as I say, there you go, there's the keyboard. It feels really solid, strong, quality build. Um, really impressed with that kind of overall weight of that. Um, uh, in the box, you've also got here a keycap and key puller. So uh, a key puller on one end, and then there's the keycap puller on the other end. Then you've got these little risers here, uh, which connect magnetically. Uh, so they kind of pop onto the back of the keyboard. Uh, a USB-C detachable cable, uh, which I'm particularly impressed with because it means you can uh, change and customize the cable if you want a different cable, which is quite good. But there you go. Overall, that's what you get in the box. So as I mentioned previously, I had a 60% keyboard uh, like this one, the Ducky 1-2 and a GK81. And you can see how they sort of compare in size. There's not much uh, difference. They've really sort of crammed together all the keys. Those previous keyboards, um, this one as well, were mainly for gaming and they had red switches. This RK84 has a brown switch keyboard and that allows me to game. I don't really game on it, but it's great for typing and that's the main source. Now I downloaded the software that comes with it from RK Gaming site, but despite it offering you in English, it's all in Chinese and I couldn't find a manual or anything, but I managed to update the firmware and then I could find the English version. Uh, and it seems fine, although I think it's a version for the RGB keyboard. So they do an RGB version. This is just the single LED version. But you can change the macros, change the patterns of the lights and all of that. However, to be honest, it's fairly easy for you to be able to do that all directly from the keyboard. So you don't need the software. The functionality is built into the keyboard and it's super easy to change the lighting effects and all of that and get to the Bluetooth control and simple things like that. So in terms of design and build quality, well, first of all, the build quality, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with it. It feels like a solid piece of kit. There's kind of a weight to it and sort of no flex. It feels like solid. It doesn't feel kind of cheap. And straight out of the box, as I said, it feels like a solid unit. As I mentioned earlier, this is the single LED, so not RGB lighting here. They do do a full RGB version. 
uh, if you're interested in that. But this is much brighter than um, my previous GK61 keyboard here. Uh, the lights really shine through the keys there. And it's going to look very impressive when I start swapping them with this sort of um, pudding key caps like I've got here. And I'm currently using on, on this one here. I'm going to swap them over. There are loads of different lighting patterns that you can have. And you can, as I said, you can access these via the keyboard itself. And you can vary the brightness, the speed of those patterns, all directly from the keyboard. And all of this feels super intuitive and it even flashes when you're at the brightest and flashes when you're at the lowest setting. So you know where you are when you're going through the different settings. In terms of the keys themselves, they feel really nice. Did you hear that? Feel really nice and responsive and there's not much wobble. Again, you have absolutely the, the option to customize all the keycaps and the keys themselves. So you can upgrade this keyboard to your liking. So you can spend as much as on the keys as you want or as little. I think these RK switches that they come with are comparable to uh, the Gatron, the Gatron keys. And they certainly feel fine to me. But again, remember, if you don't like these switches, you could just upgrade the switches themselves. That's the versatility of this keyboard in the end. At the back here, you have these two little feet and they're attached by magnets. And they just fit there really simple. Just click on, click off. Just fit really nicely. And I know they're well designed because when I have it flat, there's no wobble. So they're completely kind of precision engineered there. There's no wobble. I've had cheaper keyboards where you flicked out the feet and they've slightly been misaligned and you get that annoying wobble when you type. The surround bezel bit comes off again. Lovely design choice. So you can have them as a sort of a floating key aesthetic. Uh, and it's a great look for a more minimal design. Again, with the right choice of keycaps, you're going to get a really good looking keyboard. I'm going to be using these pudding, uh, pudding top key, key caps. As I mentioned earlier, I wanted a mechanical keyboard that was also compact and had all the function keys, but I could seamlessly use across two separate devices without the need to unplug it. So for instance, my main computer, I'm plugging it in using the USB-C, and that's the one I use for editing and stuff like that and the odd bit of gaming. So it's wired all the way with the USB-C connection at the back there. And that's detachable again, which I like, which means you can upgrade the USB-C cord to one of those nice sleek coiled ones. So that's a big tick, tick for me. At the back of the keyboard, you have this 2.4 gigahertz dongle and it's sort of beautifully housed, easy to get in. I think it's slightly magnetic, it just snaps in place there. And you plug that into your laptop or your other device with the USB and instantly and automatically it connects. So I use that for my laptop. Again, there's a keyboard uh, switch on the back so you can swap between the Bluetooth um, or if you're using this, there's an on off switch here. So if you haven't plugged it in, you can have it if, when it's plugged into USB-C, you can have it in the off setting and things like that. Now, in terms of the dongle itself, I have heard some issues uh, that the range isn't very good, but my laptop is literally, you know, six inches away from the keyboard. So that range is absolutely perfect. And whilst it did take up a USB slot on the keyboard, that wasn't a big problem because I could also have the option of using Bluetooth. In terms of the Bluetooth, you can connect up to three devices and then they've got these keys here, one, two, three. So you could have each one set to a different device. They say one to your mobile phone, one to your laptop, one to a tablet or something like that. There's also these uh, mysterious slots at the back. Now I've seen some reviews and they are pass through USB slots. So the theory is then you could plug in, say, a mouse or other peripheral into these slots. Again, another brilliant, brilliant feature. The only thing is they don't seem to appear on my uh, on this particular keyboard. So that's a bit weird. So I've used it both with the uh, 2.4 gigahertz dongle and the Bluetooth, and they work really, really well. I did have some problems, I thought, with the Bluetooth where I thought it wasn't quite picking up the keys. But I think that's more me getting used to the actual keyboard itself. In terms of the keys and the keycaps, as I've mentioned loads of times during this video, this comes with the brown switches, uh, which I opted to use mostly because I say I use this for typing and productivity, either doing my work or doing content creation and things like that. So it's ideal for me. Now these are their own RK brown switches, but as I've mentioned before, very similar apparently to the Gatron switches. The build quality of the keys themselves seem absolutely fairly solid to me. I don't really have an issue uh, with them. But again, 
totally customizable. You can change them to the keys that you particularly like. Um, and it takes most keyboard types, three pins, five pins, all of those. And as I mentioned, in terms of the keycaps themselves, I think they're ABS plastic, double shot. And so the single LED light really shines through them. And I'm going to be swapping these, as I mentioned earlier, with these HyperX pudding top keycaps. And I think with the light kind of shining under those, it's going to look really good. Again, the main keys are super responsive and they sort of spring back nicely, which really helps with the typing overall. I mean, it's a solid piece of kit. The build quality, I think, is amazing for the price. I mean, it feels kind of nice and heavy and solid. And I love typing on this thing. I'm really getting used to it. Um, in terms of the sound quality, let's do a quick sound test. If you're new to custom keyboards or you know, in that kind of bargain to mid-range price, then trust me, this Royal Clutch is absolutely solid choice. The build quality is excellent. For me, the versatility is amazing. And the thought that's gone into the overall design, every kind of little aspect they've thought about. Now, a lot of people raved about the Keychron 2 when it came out with its similar kind of compact 80% kind of style keyboard with all the keys you need, but crammed on kind of nice and tightly. This has all that feature set, but much, much more. I love the versatility of this and the fact that it takes a myriad of key types and keycaps to allow you to fully customize the keyboard to your precise liking. As I said, HyperX pudding keycaps are going on these as I love those. Uh, and they also have the UK keys that I like with a sort of pound sign instead of the hash sign and things like that. And with the single LED light um, shining through those things, I think it's gonna look super, super cool especially when I remove the, the bezel around the outside. I may also add, as I said, one of those coiled USB cables for that kind of neat look on the desk. Overall, I highly, highly recommend this. It's a great starter sort of mechanical keyboard, especially if you're looking for those mechanical keyboards that are customizable. As I say, with the versatility of the connections, to be able to connect it in different ways, to be able to kind of fully customize the keyboard to your kind of take, without having to solder things or take kind of things apart or anything like that. It's, it's just a great keyboard for the price. What can I say? Anyway, there you go. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found that interesting. If you did, then please, please, please do me the favor of hitting that like button because I like it, YouTube likes it, and it helps people like you find content like this. And hey, if you are new here, then Aragata Gazamas, I'd be most honored if you'd whack that subscribe button toggle that notification bell so you know when I go live with content like this. Once again, thank you for spending your time with me and I'll see you around very, very soon. Thank you.